What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Ideally, I would love to continue working on the K-Series, but I don't have any of the lines I need for the fuel system, which is, I believe, the next thing that I want to complete as a whole. I'll probably be working on that throughout this whole week, next week, and then hopefully that video will be ready for next week. But today, we're going to be answering one of the questions that I have as a big, not hater, of the OEM community. It's just, it bugs me. It annoys me. Some people are very, like, uptight. They want everything OEM. This hate isn't for everybody, it's just I feel like a lot of the people on the Facebook groups and stuff like that take it way too far with the whole OEM stuff. I That it started to bug me. I get it, OEM parts, they fit the great, the best, all because it was made by Honda, but it just bugs me. Some people take it way too far. At that point, just build a time machine, bro. Like, it's 20 freaking 23. Like, these cars, they're old. But regardless, we're moving with the times. And I need to replace the bumper or the rear bumper on my Civic Hatch. And this is one of the boxes that I've been sitting on for a while. If we head downstairs, we have this box right here. It says from carparts.com. I didn't even know that it came like that. I bought this off eBay. So my question for today is I'm wondering if an Amazon slash eBay bumper fits somewhat decent on a car. Just because I hear a lot of stuff about non-OEM parts fitting like complete trash. So this was the easiest option and it's been sitting here for like a year and a half, I think. As you can tell, Cat's got the best of it. I also got to get rid of stuff just sitting around the house and that's a pretty big box just sitting in our stairway. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Alrighty, sun's going down a little bit more but it's because I took a small break because I need to build this. Has a little locking mechanism. Bam! And then pull the tab. And you're able to lift it up. And it's a seat. Super cool. My lady got me this for my birthday. It's a Z Creeper. If you guys want to check it out, I believe she got it on Amazon for like 50 bucks. Compared to the AutoZone one that was like 100 and something. We're going to test it out. See how we like it. One of the main reasons that I want to swap out this bumper is it has this i don't know what this is on this side it's a lot worse like it looks like it was like a nail or something and they just did that to install the bumper which i don't like it's always bugged me so we're gonna replace it even though this might be an oem bumper that's how it fits the bumper and i'm not sure if that's how it normally is supposed to fit but that's basically what we're gonna be gauging it off of that's the gap on the on the tail light that's the gap right there. Gap on this side. This is how this side looks. It's off. It's off. Freaking. Here's the bumper. The bumper itself, I mean, it's whatever, just a black plastic bumper and Tong Yang. The only complaint, the packaging, but this could also just probably be my fault just because I've had this thing sitting for like, dude, it might honestly be like two years that I had bought this, a year for sure though. And you can tell this pretty bad crease, this is creased over here. And like, if you look at the box, it's a pretty small box and they try to fit the whole bumper in. So I'm gonna say I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. Uh, maybe I should have done this a lot sooner. Um, I'm gonna try to hit this with the heat gun, see if it stretches out. After heating the bumper up a little bit, they end up doing the trick. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, install it and then we'll see what happens. In order to remove our bumper, we're gonna start out with the bottom bolts. We got this one and we got that one. Oh, freak. <laughs> we got a ton of dirt and glass. In order to remove this screw right here, you do have to remove the wheel. After removing both the side screws, we now move to the tailgate and we have these screws right here. We went ahead and removed all of these screws at the top and I believe that should be everything. I'm gonna try to go ahead and remove the bumper. After trying to remove the bumper for a little bit, we do have a lot of movement except on these little spots where we have a nail in there. So we're gonna try to pop those nails off and hopefully this comes off. I really hope I don't have to move the tail light. Oh my 
gosh, it looks so crusty under there. We do have a hole right here. It was like a screw, but I guess they had a bundled on top of it, so we weren't able to remove it. So I just used one of these crowbars and uh, took it out. Bumper is officially off. I don't see anything that necessarily says Honda as of right now. We're gonna keep it. It's it's a good bumper. I'm telling you, it was mainly because of these screws that were in there that I was really wondering like if this bumper was broken. But taking it off, it's honestly in pretty good condition. So if anything, I'll probably keep it. If this black one doesn't end up fitting up well, we'll cover that up and then we'll just reuse this bumper later on. We got the bumper mocked up. We're gonna go ahead and start adding these screws back in. These top screws are now installed. We're gonna move on to the side ones. Wheels are back on. Down to our last two bolts under the car. We are at our first problem with this bumper. The holes don't align up. Hole is right there, and this thing is not stretching far enough back to reach the hole. I'm not sure if I have to loosen up the bolts on the top and then break it down more or just try to keep manhandling this until it stretches all the way uh but that's where we're at right now i'm tired got one bolt on it. this one is the one that's being a butt it's late so i'm gonna call it for tonight come back tomorrow tighten this bolt if not i'm just gonna end up drilling like a hole closer to the hole because i'm pretty sure this one should be fine just like that this one tab does look a bit longer than this one so Maybe it's just, you know, just a de defect on the bumper. So it's been 48 hours since I installed the bumper. There it is. And within those 48 hours, it's gotten plenty of sun, plenty of heat from the sun for it to mold back to somewhat of a shape of what it was supposed to be in. And honestly, it's not that bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse for the amount of smack people talk about faux EM parts, the gaps aren't that bad. But this thing isn't OEM, so there is one is big time part that I don't like about this bumper. This side right here. And, and also this is the side that was really badly bent. Maybe it's simply just how long it was sitting inside the box. And also maybe this might even be just my car because this was the area that there was a screw so maybe it was used to be pushed up into a certain position to see like right there that looks a lot better you look at it from the top it looks terrible same thing over here it's very low you have to almost push it up and there so maybe that is why the screws were there they were probably used to close down this gap if i didn't have a bumper i would rock it but since I have my orange bumper, I'm just gonna take off this one since someone is supposed to come pick it up within the next hour. And then I'm just gonna end up putting the orange one back on since the orange one, it's the bumper that was on already on the car. Just keep the other one since it's not actually broken, which was the original idea I had with the screws. I'm pretty sure it was just fitment issues. Got the orange bumper back out and on the so i guess this is the oem part and i'm pretty sure this is the bumper that came with the car to begin with so we're gonna run with it we're gonna install it back on just remove these screws and hopefully we're able to fix this bumper in the future got the oem bumper back on just to give you guys a little example this gap i mean looks pretty good the other one looked okay as well so i'm not really caring about that one but you get to about right here. This gap is a bit bigger than that side's gap. And then when you come over here, this is what this side looks like. Obviously you see the drilled hole right there. If you push it up or you push it in, that's how it would fit. But we don't have this screw in there anymore. It looks way better than the black bumper though. This side actually looks pretty good or it looks way better than the other side. Walking up to the car, looking at this gap from over there. I don't even know why they added the screw. The freaking gap looks fine from far. <laughs> It's late, so I'm sorry guys, I'm just laying in bed. I'm trying to finish this video so I could upload it for tomorrow. As far as today's video, I'm satisfied with my orange bumper when it's back on. I'm very happy that it's not broken. If it was broken, I would have used this bumper. So that answers today's question. 
if an Amazon bumper slash carparts.com bumper, if you don't have a bumper or if you need a replacement because yours is all messed up, this is a great option. I don't know necessarily how much an OEM bumper goes for, but looking at all the prices for everything, it probably is inflated as well. So this bumper, I think, costs like $129, um, which isn't that bad. I'm pretty sure that's how much I paid for it about a year ago. Unless you really care about gaps, then sure, look source for a freaking OEM bumper. But as far as for me, I want to replace a lot of the things with new parts, even though gaps, you know, they're probably not going to be the best. It'll get the job done get a little bit of body work and then everything should look fine as far as the black bumper it did end up selling i think i sold it for a little too cheap but i really just wanted to get rid of the bumper and she's gone one less big box that i gotta worry about but that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully next week we're working on the fuel system um i really want to get that done and just finish the swap i'll see you guys in the next video god bless